So as you're going through these net ionic equations, you might come across a net ionic equation that has no reaction. Ooh, scary. Okay. Really all that means is that everything stays aqueous. Okay. So if you don't make a solid, like if you didn't make a precipitate out of it, or you didn't have something with a, a change of state, like a solid, a liquid, or a gas in your actual equation, if everything is aqueous, you're going to have no reaction. Okay. So if everything is aqueous on both sides of your equation. Okay, if everything is aqueous, no reaction. And we'll look at an example. If I had sodium chloride, which is aqueous, plus magnesium nitrate reacting to make sodium nitrate and magnesium chloride. Or that I forgot to write the AQ. I always do that. AQ. AQ. Okay. Right. So all of these are aqueous. Either way, let's balance our equation. All right. Sodium, one sodium, one sodium, one chlorine, two chlorines. Now two sodiums, two sodiums, and everything's balanced. Okay. If I was going to write my total ionic equation, because this is my molecular, right, my molecular equation, if I was going to write my total ionic equation, I would have literally everything as ions on both sides of my equation. So there's no solids I make. So I'd have two sodiums plus two chlorides plus one magnesium with a two plus charge plus two nitrates, all reacting to make two sodiums, two nitrates, you can see how fun this is, ran out of space, so we're going down here, plus one magnesium, plus two chlorides, okay, and every single one of these is aqueous, so if I'm then going to try and find my net ionic, right, I need to cancel out my spectator ions, well, everything's a spectator ion. I have two sodiums here, two sodiums here. They cancel. Two chlorines, two chlorines. One magnesium, one magnesium. Two nitrates, two nitrates. Everything cancels out. No reaction. Okay? Not difficult. Just make sure you really know your solubility rules. That way you can determine what things are aqueous, what things are solid, 